So this is how it's looking. It's a bit dry. Okay. Picking up. And this is the amount of hair I got out of it. Bold the transformation. After 21 years of dedication and commitment, guys, I finally combed out my beloved locks. <sighs> what a journey that was. It was a journey of patience and growth. And it's led me to a lot of new chapters in my hair story, you know. When I was untangling each strand, I embraced the freedom and versatility that comes with the change. My hair, now I'm born, reveals its true length and texture, ready to embark on a fresh adventure. Come and join me as I explore new styles, care routine, and embrace beauty of my natural hair. This is the beginning of a new era, and I'm excited to see where the journey takes me. Combing out my locks after 21 years can result in a significant change in my hairstyle and texture, also my appearance. So I had to take a few things into consideration before, you know, I did this. It took me three years to finally gather up the courage to pull my locks out. It also took me three years to put my locks on. So the first thing that I would consider or keep in mind when pulling out or combing out your locks is your hair texture. After combing out your locks, your hair texture may appear different from its natural state. It may be fizzy, have a looser curl pattern and appear thinner due to the weight of the locks being removed. Trust me, this was shocking. No, it wasn't because I'm a, I'm a hair therapist. I know what comes with it. So, it took me some time to adjust to it because I've always had, like, length, you know. My hair always appear long and now it's shorter after combing out the locks. And this is because the hair strands have been compacted and intertwined with locks. And when they are separated, the true length is revealed. Also, you'll find me um, doing this hair care wow i've made two beautiful videos that you can see on my um channel it's in the playlist of organics hair so if you look in there you'll see two beautiful remedies that i came up with to help combat you know my hair after combing out the locks because it's important to establish that i have to find a new hair routine and this may include conditioning treatments moisturizing products also protective like hairstyles to make sure that i recover and regain my natural you know hair health so i had to you know bear in mind all of those things plus i had to be patient because it's important to be patient with your hair during the transition period it may take a while you know for your hair to fully recover and adjust. And I'm telling you now, I'm in December and I'm still recovering and I'm still adjusting to the new state. I'm trying to find new styles. I'm trying to find, you know, new ways of, you know, embracing my new look. Also, I'm trying to be gentle with my hair and I'm avoiding excess heat. And, you know, I don't do no chemical treatments anyways, but I'm giving it tender, loving care that it needs to thrive. And um, if you're not a professional hair therapist, I'd advise you, if you're unsure about how you're going to care about your hair after combing out your locks, I'd advise you to go and see, you know, a professional hairstylist who specializes in natural hair. Or you could come to my channel so I can provide you with guidance and recommendation of products. And I can also help you navigate through, you know, new phases of your hair journey. But also, you can go to a physical hairstylist to do that as well. And remember, everyone here is unique and the results of combing out your locks can vary. So you need to embrace the change and full joy the journey of discovering your hair in its new form. Okie dokie. So I'm going to show you what I did in this video. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. 
put that notification bell on so you won't ever ever miss a new video or update and also you know comment down below if you've got any questions to ask just ask me and i'll be here for you 24 7. thanks for joining and thanks for watching this video to the end okay oh i need to do a disclaimer as well in september i didn't have a mic so some of the sound quality is not as great as it is but i promise forward onward always after this we will be on in point with our sound system all right thank you so much and i'll see you soon if you get yourself one of these combs and one of these needle which is 0 0.5 mm then you'll be able to unravel your locks okay it's been two weeks now since i've been taking out my locks and it's not consistent it's mostly at night time i used to do it between the hours of nine till around one two in the morning and i did that for around probably eight nine days i decided to start doing my locks for the entire day so i started at 10 and now it's actually 6 20 and i'm still at it i've got three left one two three no i've got four locks left i've got four locks left so i'm going to use this time to actually um pull them out and then i can show you how it looks later on all right but you're going to need a comb like this to, to comb through the hair my client broke it because um i never did this time before but he had synthetic hair in and one of them hooked in my pin and pull it out it's not dirty guys it's and then you're going to need a needle like this. Let me show you how small. You need it to be small. So it's 0 0.5. All right. And that's what you're going to use to pull your locks out slowly. I don't like to do it wet. I like to do it dry and I do it slowly. I go into each strand and pull them out. So one lock took me around 30 to 45 minutes to pull out. And it depending on how long you how long your lock is as well mine was like a bob i had to cut my locks into a bob and uh, i decided i ain't gonna pull out all of that lock because i had locked down to my spine hair down to my to my back so i was like no way i'm gonna pull so much out so i cut it into a bob because i've got an undercut so i know what type of style i'm looking for so i just cut the locks out that i don't need anymore and i thank the energy and i did all of my you know little necessary gratitude you know ritual when it come onto my hair now i can actually say that i feel lighter i feel much better and i'm going to show you a video very soon but this is the needle you need to start off with and the comb all right the most challenging thing about combing out my 21 year old locks was the time and patient it required me nearly lose it a couple of times and me nearly call Calidon center just because over the years my hair had become tightly interlocked and compact the process of pulling out or combing out was quite difficult. It took a um, significant amount of time and effort to carefully comb out each lock, ensuring that I didn't cause more damage to my hair strands. Additionally, after adjusting to my hair texture, yeah, after so long and the appearance of my locks that were removed, present to its own set of challenges because i had challenges with my locks as well i was having thinning sides despite the difficulties the journey of combing out my locks was a transformative experience that allowed me to embrace the natural beauty and versatility of my hair which i'm still doing it's a process and it will be a process until it starts to grow back you know full healthy no issues just healthy scalp and hair so yeah it was a very significant challenge it was most challenging for me it was in between the spaces i find that loose here i'm gonna just pull it out it's like a u or a y i'm gonna just pull it down and just pull it out it's like you're trying to do an interlock but it never goes through and then you just pull it back out and then i do a little bit faster when we see how it grows it may sound like it's damaging, but it's not, and it may look too fast, but it's not going to take out a lot of hair. You just take out a few, but when it bumble up together, it's a lot. All right, so, or do it this way. Hold the needle, the point, 
watch the pure and hoarded stuff and just like pull them off like this. And then that's kind of here and do the same thing. So just try it. Don't don't do it resistantly or forcefully. Just feel it doing it naturally and the hair is just pulling through your finger down here. So you must feel the hair pulling through. That's when you know you're doing it correctly. And it won't take off a lot of your hair. And it will pull it out quicker as well. And you just keep on doing it. If you feel that harsh or forced, stop and go below. Okay. And I prefer doing this dry. I do get some off. You're going to get a lot off. I'm not going to tell you lie. But when I do it wet, my hair tear a lot. But when I do it dry, it pull out quicker for me. Because right now my hair pulls so tight, then feel straight. I've been, I've been, I've had locks for 21 years. And my curls are straight at the moment. So when I pull it out, it just easily come out. And then I just turn it around and do the other side. And then when I do both sides like that, that's when I go in and do in the center and pull the center out. And remember your locks is a thin cylinder. So you do that to the two sides or around the locks itself. But then you have to go in and do the middle as well because the middle is a lot. Right. And then one here, take me from around 30 minutes to 45 minutes to pull out. So I've been at this from 9 o'clock, no, 10 o'clock this morning and now it's what, 6.30? So it's been a good minute or two, but I only have like three left. So I came on to show you the end result because I wasn't going to show you the beginning to now. No, so it's a process. I mean, I already see that, see the whole internet see that. So this is what I do. To get my locks out and I'll show you at the end how it looks all right so I just continue doing this switch them around and I don't lose a lot of hair it's still thick under there but just take your time take your time if you know I'm that fast as me take your time like that take your time and less breakage if you want to use a conditioner with your hair you can do it if you have more of a curly hair you know, but my hair kind of got bone straighter now, so it's like, it's just easy to pull out. But do what's best for you and what works for you. This did work quicker for me, and I only started pulling this out like two weeks ago, and I only did it like in the night. As I suggested on the first clip, just in the night we do it from around 10 o'clock to like around 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. So, and it's not every day. I did it for brown probably nine days. And then probably this is the tenth day of, you know, doing this. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. How I pull my hair out. And I'll come back when this one's finished. And I test it to see how far I have to go. And then I just sit down and watch a documentary or watch some educational information on, you know, YouTube or whoever. And I just check my time, drink my tea. Have something to eat in the meantime use the toilet whatever you need to do but you know this time is focused on solely on you so yeah i'll come back in a minute and show you how it look all righty see you in a bit so so this is how it's looking it's a bit dry it's picking up and this is the amount of hair i got out of it a lot of you are going to say, oh, you could see more if it was wet. Listen to me. When it's wet, I'm here for 40 days and 40 nights, and I'm not prepared for that. So my hair will grow back. I'm going to use my products. I'll show you how I, you know, regenerate my hair again. So this is how it's looking at the moment. All right. And then when I finish doing everything, I'll come back and show you, okay? But yeah, I've got three left. See you guys soon. This is my <laughs> definitely gonna need a trim and you know a deep condition a oil treatment listen i'm gonna start doing my weekly treatments as well but at the moment i'm done so i'm just pulling out to see how you know the head look 